can be saved by the bell. Can, I say, be saved by the bell. Hackner is the left-hander in the dark trucks, and Bobby Watts in the white trucks. Watts has a two-and-a-half-inch advantage in height, if that is an advantage. He has no appreciable advantage in the reach factor. Oftentimes, that is the most important. He looks quite a bit rangier than does Marvin Heckler. Watts has a history of being a cutie sometimes, moving a lot. But as he told us, he's coming out looking today. There'll be no great amount of dancing, as perhaps his name Boogaloo implies. Hagler digging hard to the body and covering well as Bobby Watts retaliates. Watts almost in a peekaboo defense there, and Hagler trying to reach inside of it did slip the right hand jab in there. making the fight early, doing the scoring early. Bobby Watts standing pretty much flat-footed. Hagler at times has been quite boastful, quite boisterous. In his media conversations, I thought him quite reserved today, quite to the point and interesting in his attitude that he realizes the championship was so close to him the last opportunity and he is supposed to get another opportunity in the foreseeable future as soon as Minter and Atifirm will have their rematch and they are scheduled for a rematch in June. Watts got a good left hand to the body that time. Bobby scoring. Here in the final seconds of round number one, the referee is Rennie Liberty. It's a good left hand popped in there by Hagler. Half a minute to go in round one. Despite his rangy appearance, it is already apparent that Bobby Watts generates considerable leverage. Here, the blow studding against the arms and forearms of Hagler. All right, that's round one from Portland, Maine. Round number two, scheduled for 10, live out of the Civic Center in Portland, Maine, where the Maine Mariners play their hockey. Beautiful new building in this old city. Marvin Hagler in the dark trucks. Bobby Watts from Philadelphia in the light trucks. Hagler fighting out of Brockton, Massachusetts. And that's a slip. First round, I thought, relatively even. Hagler early, Watts late. These are middleweights. Watts covered in that exchange, but in this exchange, he gets a solid right hand on the chin, inside. Hagler going after him. Watts again caught by that right hand uppercut, snapped his head back. Looking to counter. Standing pretty much flat footed. He has been training, Bobby Watts has, for about with Ernie Singletary when this opportunity appeared. And frankly, if he should beat Marvin Hagler this afternoon here in Portland, Maine, he very obviously would be a probable choice to challenge the winner of the Minter and the final rematch. Minter currently the champion. Hard right hand by Hagler. Appeared to hurt Watts. Another right hand by Hagler. Watts is down. Just about the halfway point of the second round. Watts hurt by a right hand and then down by a right hand. Now let's see if Bobby Watts can run himself out of trouble. Times passed. His legs have been suspect when he's been hurt. 
His recuperative powers are about to be tested right here as Hackler puts him down. It was two right hands that appeared to do most of the damage. Watts cannot sit on the ropes with Hackler. He's got to get himself out of the open. I don't believe he can survive if he sits back in there. Hackler facing himself, doesn't want to get too wild. Remember, the bell can save you under main rules. trying to survive the round, now beginning to apparently stabilize a little bit. He tries to beat Hackler away from him. Coming off the ropes a half a minute to go. Watch hurt by a left hand. He's in trouble again. There's the left of the face. 20 seconds to go. It's been all Hackler in this round. Thank you. 